Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to create project level parameters and package level parameters and use them. We will be learning how to create them and we will be using them in copying all the file from source folder to destination folder. So let's open SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. I'm, I'm starting from scratch. You can see that. So first of all, we will be opening a SQL Server Data Tools and we will be creating a, a new project and the, here we will go to the file and then say new project and then inside the project we will be selecting integration services project now give some proper name what you like in my case I'm gonna give it SSIS tutorial now hit OK once you hit OK then a project will open now here you see project parameters and I'm talking about SSIS 2012 or 2014 so you will see project parameters you can click here and go to the view designer and that's where you can create project parameters and this is the plus uh, this is the add parameter sign so if you click here and then you are gonna do let's say we call it source folder and I'm creating this one once uh, you create the project level parameters and we are saving some values here these uh, project level parameters are going to be available in all the SSIS packages in this uh, project and uh, now we are dealing with the project level deployments uh, when you create these projects and deploy all the packages to the one of the folder in SSDB and uh, this is a new concept of uh, handling your packages configuration uh, handling your your deployment for multiple packages and uh, this is called project level deployments in old versions we had package level deployment where we could we were able to deploy a single package or multiple packages to the file system here we are deploying uh, all those uh, to the ssdb now let's uh, go to the package and here if you go on the parameters you will be creating uh, the package level parameter so this is going to be available only in a package so it is not going to be available in the other packages what we create so go back and create uh, it is going to be string and we are saving some value here it is going to be destination folder so copy this one paste it here what I want to do here I want to copy all the files uh, from the source folder to the destination folder and I will be using these uh, pa package level parameter and uh, project level parameter the values of these uh, project level and package level parameters can be changed uh, from the configuration uh, when we have deployed these uh, packages uh, to the SSDB now let's go to the control flow first of all we need to read uh, the values uh, right we need to read all the file names uh, from the uh, for source folder and we, we we know that we will be using a for each loop container here so we go to for each loop container and here we will be providing uh, the enumerator and that's going to be for each file enumerator and then uh, next part we do not want to use the folder na uh, name here or folder path C colon so we have to provide uh, our one of the parameter and we click here we go to directory and hit on expression here you will see both of them you will see package level parameter with the package and the project level parameter with dollar sign project so they start with dollar sign and with the first part of that tells you this is project level or it is a package level now I want to use the project level parameter here and I will just drag it here and I will be reading all the files from here in the project level parameter and then we will be moving to the package level parameter value path so hit ok hit ok now we will be saving the fully qualified path that will give us the folder path with the file name with the extension and we will save to the new variable call it the file path variable and then we hit ok and it will be index 0 because this is the only variable we have hit ok next uh, we will be bringing a file system task here and now inside the file system task we are gonna make use of a package level parameter so hit ok 
and then we are copying the file okay from where we are copying we are copying the file from the source um, where uh, source path variable so uh, that's true and here we have file if you remember we have created that variable that contain the fully qualified path is called file path variable so that's that's done next part uh, is the destination path is a variable yes sir. but if you see here it does not say it is a project level parameter or it is a package level parameter it is saying is destination path variable this is kind of mis uh, um, leading but when you click here in the destination variable you will see it provide you all the package level parameter it provide you the project level parameters and provide you the variables you have created in the SSIS package so here we will be selecting a package level parameter so it's called package destination folder so we are all good if the file does exist already we want to override it hit ok and here one more thing you see here file path variable is uh, empty right now so there are multiple ways to handle this one as this one does not contain any value one thing you can go to variable and provide any value or the second way you can right click here and go to properties and uh, then set uh, the delay validation to true so that's the that's uh, the error is uh, gone or uh, as I told you you provide any value to the variable and uh, that will be overwritten when it is going to loop through and give us a fully qualified path for the file name and uh, extension and the folder as well so your choice whatever you like now let's go ahead and run the package start the package and it should move all uh, sorry copy all the files from the source folder so let's see what happened so it has the files in source folder now if we go to the destination folder it didn't do anything let's go back take a look what happened now we need to make sure our here in the local folder we are providing a let's say backslash maybe that's the problem or maybe in the package we did not provide that backslash that sometimes that's a problem you have to provide that as a complete path let's go back rerun the package it completed successfully now in the destination folder it did not copy any file I'm gonna really debug it whatever happened I'm gonna fix it so let's go back here we see that is a source file path variable so that's what the variable is and now here is the destination folder so that's where we are moving the file so let me go back here real quick sometimes these errors happen it's a good idea to learn how to do it so I'm gonna bring the script task here and then uh, I'm going to see what exactly happened so here let's provide the values of that variable we are gonna pop up that value and uh, take a look uh, what went wrong so we have user variable file path variable hit ok now call go to script and then we are going to print out the value that is saved in the this variable so matches message box dot show dts dot variables and here we have to provide that name so we have a var file var file path it is a uh, case sensitive so we have to be really careful some and don't provide wrong values otherwise it will keep throwing us error so let me see if I provided the right value let's see if we run it save it build it and uh, we have file path variable and inside what we have done we have done totally wrong so I'm gonna copy back go back inside just paste it here and I'm gonna use it user colon colon provide the value build it close it save it let's go back and see if uh, our see the for each loop container is not even getting to the folder and uh, giving us uh, the file name so there is something wrong so let's go back here first of all let's take a look what happened on the for each loop container so collections and this is where probably 
we have a directory source folder and we are selecting see everything from a local folder that's that's where we did, did make a mistake so if you see here this is not the path where my files are they are in this folder under subdirectory so what we have to do we have to take the values and then go to the, this path it should have source folder because that's what where we are making a mistake cancel it we go back to the project parameters and change the value in the variable parameter uh, um, project parameter so we were missing uh, this source folder and that's why it was not given us any file because there is no file on this uh, main folder so if we were here there is no file that's why we were getting error now we have the files we gave the proper path it should move to the destination so let's run it go back to the package run the package so now you can see that we are printing the, those uh, file names so it is going to give us one by one we will just remove it and uh, this is how it will copy those files from a source to the destination and you can see that in the destination we have all those files and also they are in the source folder now one more thing uh, real quick uh, the last thing I would like to say let's create another SSIS package and if I go here now if I will bring a file system task let me bring the file system task and inside the file system task if I will go in the let's say I will say destination uh, path is a variable and go here you will see only the project level parameter you would not see that parameter we have created in other package that was a package and the destination folder so that's available only in that package so that's why they are called the package level and they will be available only in this package wherever you create it and the other the project level parameter are going to be available in all those packages whichever are present in this current uh, project so once uh, these are done you can deploy your packages right click here and deploy it and uh, sorry and deploy uh, to the server and then uh, from there you can change the value for project level parameter as well as you can change the value for package level parameter I'm gonna have a video that will show you each and every step but uh, keep watching the videos and you will get to there thanks very much for watching this video